News Extra on KNEB, brought to you by Garing Civic Center and a couple of familiar faces and voices in return to KNEB this morning. Marty and Barbara Martinson are here talking about some things happening out at the uh, Legacy of the Plains Museum. Good morning to both of you. Good to see you again. Good morning. Oh, Danny, it's always so exciting just to be here. <laughs> what what uh, we want to talk about first is this upcoming concert with Riders in the Sky. I'm really excited about it this year, Denny. It's going to be three hours of music. Uh, but the first thing I want to do for six years, I've had the same major sponsors. Regional West Medical Center, Wesco, and 21st Century Equipment. And I can't thank these people enough for doing that. Because all the monies are raised. So all of this money from the sale of the tickets goes to the Legacy of the Plains. Kenyon Lockery is managed by Mel Tillis. And you have to be older like I am maybe to remember Mel Tillis, but Kenyon sang on the Grand Old Opry. He's the nicest young man. He's going to perform for an hour. He's going to open the show. And then Riders in the Sky are going to do two 50-minute segments. So it's going to really be an exciting time, Denny. It's out at Five Rocks Amphitheater on June 6th, June 6th, right? 6th, yes, and it's a family show. I have to emphasize that. Writers in the Sky wrote the music for Toy Story 1 and 2, and it's this is going to be a family show, and people always say, oh, there isn't much for the family around here. Well, this is for the family. The tickets are only $25 for adults. Children 6 to 12, $10, and 5 and under are free. Okay, so uh, it should be a great night, and... Uh, you know, Ranger Doug and the gang have been here before. It's been a long time, though, since they've been through this area. That, that's right what here. you said. You yeah. said that you saw them before. I remember seeing them out at the college, the uh, State Troopers Association, or somebody brought them in. But yeah. It's and been a long said, time. They do a great show. Oh, yeah. Now, our lights and sound this year is sponsored by Fremont Motors and Regional Radiation Oncology Care. And these guys have sponsored for several years. Panhandle Co-op, it starts at 6 o'clock, so Panhandle Co-op furnishes all the food for the concessions, and the gals out at the museum, Donna's in charge of that, her and Becky, and they have sloppy joes and almost whatever you'd want to eat to fill your tummy, and then at halftime, I call it halftime between the shows, Steve Thrasher has donated another guitar, and all the artists will sign it, Mm. so it's going to be exciting. Fantastic. Now, this was in August last year, right? Yeah, right, your, your concert. right. Now you're moving it up to June. Well, Denny, you know, we have to have it either before the fairs start yeah. or after the fairs. And last year we had it in August, and it was a little bit cool in the evening. It may be a little bit cool this yeah. year, Who so knows? bring your blanket or whatever. It might snow. Uh, yeah, yeah, we pray too. it doesn't rain, but... Uh, We don't want to compete with the local fairs and stuff. So this is just kind of a preempt to that. So June 6th, how do we get tickets? Uh, The Legacy of the Plains, 436-1989. They can call out there and get tickets. And Marty, do you know the ticket locations? I certainly do. All of the uh, uh, Flat Valley Bank locations all across the Panhandle have tickets. West Going Alliance uh, has tickets. I believe Pinnacle Bank in Mitchell has tickets. And uh, I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah. Per- oh, yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, <laughs> Main Street Markets, okay. Scott's Bluff, Torrington, and Kimball also and have tickets. And if you see Marty running around town or at coffee at 9 o'clock in the morning, why, he has tickets. Going. Yes, I do. I keep them handy so in case anybody attacks me, I can, I can sell them some tickets. Right. Sounds like a great evening. We'll talk a little more about the museum and all things happening there right after this message. How about the beautiful Gearing Civic Center with 21 years event experience for your next special event? How about strawberry spinach salad, seasoned roast beef, pulled pork, or ribeye steaks being cooked by the catering experts, the meat shop? The large chocolate fountain completes it. Call us at 436-6888, visit GearingCivicCenter.com, and like us on Facebook. Experts at providing exceptional experiences with excellent food. All right, we're going to let him get a word in edgewise. Gee, thanks. I appreciate that. (laughs) Marty, what's going on at the now world-class Legacy of the Plains Museum? Well, there's a a lot of activities, Denny. Uh, You know, the the museum is a work in progress, and uh, our volunteers and everybody just work constantly. The uh, 
layout of the uh, different exhibits is in progress right now. Also, the landscaping and the uh, outside the campus, uh, the way it's going to be laid out and exhibits like that. And it's just a lot of work. And uh, we've got a great staff of volunteers. We've got, of course, a new executive director out at the uh, the museum. And uh, so things are moving along. Uh, if anybody has a couple million bucks in their pocket they want to get rid of, I can tell them where to, you know, where to send it. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a great uh, project, and, and this is going to be an absolutely fantastic museum when it's completed. It is now, but mm-hmm. uh, progress is being made, and it just gets better each and every day. Not only preserving, but teaching. And I know at this time of year, you bring so many kids through out there. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's fun. We had uh, the kindergarten days here a couple of weeks ago, and uh, on one of the days I helped uh, in the uh, blacksmith shop where we were teaching the kids how to make rope, and they just had a ball. And, uh, you know, and later in the year, in the fall, we bring in the uh, fourth graders from all across the panhandle and do demonstrations with them, hands-on stuff. And the kids get a big kick out of it, and I think they do a lot of learning. And I think their parents do, too, that, through well, those yes, kids visiting. Yeah. 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 And uh, a lot of times these kids will say, hey, let's go back out to the museum, you know. Right. So uh, it, it's a lot of fun, and it's a learning experience, and it's great to teach, you know, even in an ag area like we are, a lot of these kids have no clue where their food comes from or what goes on on the farms and ranches and such as that. And it's it's a great opportunity to uh, to uh, teach them some of these things. Yeah. Marty, it's also drawing a lot of people from across the United States and even foreign countries. Well, I was out there the other day and uh, I looked at the uh, sign-in sheet and I saw rugby and I thought, oh, somebody from Rugby, North Dakota. No, it was Rugby United Kingdom. Wow. And uh, so, yeah, there's people come from all over the world to uh, go through this museum. And uh, it's amazing where everybody comes from. Yeah. All right. Well, very good. Thanks for coming by, visiting about it uh, this morning, the uh, Legacy of the Plains Museum and this big fundraising concert on June 6th. Always good to see you guys. Denny, thank you, thank Denny. you so much. You know, we love you. And I'll tell you something. K&EB does so much for the Panhandle area, and we're just so proud of all of you. All right, thanks very much, and we'll see you soon.